Three Columbus firemen are back at home after a COVID outbreak at the Mississippi State Fire Academy. And with a short staff department, this could not have come at a worse time. WCBI's Holly Emery has more. It is a domino effect. Across the country, states are having to find ways to manage with low staff while dealing with the second wave of COVID. The Columbus Fire Department is no exception. After sending three untrained firemen to the Mississippi Fire Academy only for them to be sent back due to COVID cases, Assistant Chief Dwayne Hughes says the department is limited on what it can do. That certification allows is for those firefighters, number one, to be able to enter a burning structure. This severely limits uh, the opportunities of use they have here at the fire department. The seven week course would have allowed the firemen in training to reach full status and help eliminate some of the issues the department has had, including short staffing and overtime pay. If it requires 18 firefighters to be on shift and that shift only has 15 firefighters, then that means three would have to be hired overtime. The level of expectation is having four firefighters on each truck. And at the present time, um, with overtime hiring, we're able to only provide three firefighters for each of those trucks. Although it may seem as simple as quarantining those who test positive at the academy, Chief of Training Mike Chandler says it takes time to get their men vaccinated and back into the classrooms. There's a two-week wait between the first vaccination and the second, and they the next class is August 23rd, so they will not be able to make that class. Hugh says his men won't be able to go back to the academy until October. Until then, more money is going to be put towards paying people overtime, which could put a strain on the department's budget. The bulk of the fire department's budget is allocated towards salaries. The majority of our budget is taken up with overtime hiring because of the um, staffing shortages. Although the three firemen in training will not have to restart the fire academy in October, the situation does push back future hiring. At this time, we have six uncertified firefighters, two on each shift. As far as future hires, until we get those personnel certified, then it will delay future hires. In Columbus, Holly Emery, WCBI News.